India's strategic defense capabilities took a significant leap forward with the recent commissioning of INS Arikhat, the country's second nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine. As the Arikhat joins the Indian Navy's arsenal, attention now turns to the next in line, the S-4, which promises to be even deadlier. Slated for commissioning next year, the S-4 represents a critical evolution in India's underwater deterrence. So why is India's S-4 its deadliest submarine yet? News 9 Plus decodes. Let's begin with what is the S-4? The S-4 is the next step for India's ambitious SSBN program. These nuclear-powered ballistic missile armed subs are a crucial element of the country's nuclear triad that enables it to launch nuclear weapons from land, air and sea. Following in the wake of INS Arihant and INS Arikat, the S-4 is the third submarine in this class. It is called by its project number because it is yet to be named. The S-4 is currently undergoing harbour trials in Vishakhapatnam. So what are the capabilities of the S-4? The S-4 and its successor, the S-4 Star, are a new subclass of the Arehant class. It is around 10 metres longer than the Arehant class. It displaces over 7,000 tonnes, which is a thousand tonnes more than the Arihan class. It can carry 8 K-4 missiles or 24 shorter range K-15 missiles. This is twice the missile load of the Arihant and the Arighat. How does the S-4 compare with other Indian submarines? The first of its class, INS Arihant, was commissioned in 2016 and carries 12 K-15 missiles or 4 K-4 missiles. INS Arighat follows the same armament configuration. Significantly larger and more advanced than its predecessors, S-4's increased size and power, along with additional vertical launch tubes, will enable it to carry a larger payload of nuclear-tipped missiles, making it a more formidable deterrent. What is the significance of the Arihant class SSBNs for India? SSBNs are crucial for credible deterrence, especially in Asia, where China and Pakistan have two of the world's fastest growing nuclear arsenals. The induction of these SSBNs marks a major milestone in India's strategic defence capabilities. These submarines are powered by a nuclear reactor that will allow them to remain submerged for extended periods, making them extremely difficult to detect and track. They are thus the most secure and survivable leg of India's nuclear triad. Each missile of the Arihant class is tipped with one nuclear bomb. So when all four Arihan class submarines are sailing out, it means between 24 and 72 of India's nuclear weapons are hidden under the seas. The number of warheads could increase if the missiles are merved or fitted with a single nuclear weapon. Their ability to remain submerged for months, combined with the enhanced missile range and payload, makes them the backbone of India's second strike capability, ensuring that the country can retaliate in the event of a surprise nuclear attack or a first strike. The enemy will therefore have to think twice before making a move when the Arihant class SSBNs are on patrol. 